the prophet Isaiah says, With their mouths and their lips they honored me, but their hearts were far away from me. So the prophet says something extraordinary. The prophet Isaiah in chapter 29 verse 13 says, Sometimes you have a guy, he looks religious. You have a woman, she looks religious, she has a nice kisui rosh, rabbanit, she reads Tehilim five times a day, she even fasts once a week because she wants to do tikkun, and he fasts, uh, tikkun chatzor, tikkun this, tikkun that, he goes to the mikveh, dips in the mikveh seven times every morning, he reads Mishnayot every morning, everything is great. You see the guy, picture perfect, he's saying, you know what, Alvai, everybody's going to be like him. Alvai, everybody's going to be like him. Then one day, he gets fired from his job. Then one day, his largest investment goes to nothing. Then one day, something bad happens in her life, Hashem Yachem. Something bad happens. All of a sudden, you see them starting to regret the mitzvot them starting to look for solutions that are not exactly kosher. Oh, I don't have a job. I got to do something. Yeah, yeah, but what you're considering is illegal. Yeah, listen, I got to make a living. I got kids. Yeah, but it's illegal. I don't care. I got to do it. If Hashem wants to give me something else, then He has to give it to me. All of a sudden, they start demanding a Kadosh Baruch Hu to start working for them. And they're considering to us do things that are off limits. Asul. Asul. But they're doing it. The prophet says, these people, with their mouths and their lips, they honored me. But in reality, the whole time she was reading Tehilim, she was far, far away from me. She was reading Tehilim, not because she was getting close to me. She was reading Tehilim to tell everybody she's reading Tehilim. To tell everybody, listen, are you fasting on Thursday? Why, after fa- why Thursday's a fast? No, no, but I fast once a week. Oh, you fast once a week? You fast once a week. That's why you, you so you tell the, the whole Keilah that you fast once a week. That's why you fast. Not because you're fasting for Hashem. You read Tehilim because you want to tell everybody you read Tehilim. So Hashem says, these people, they pay me lip service, but their hearts is far away from me. How are you going to know? If their heart's far away from me, when push comes to shove. When push comes to shove and there's a test in their life, there's a test in their life, somebody goes to the hospital, there's an accident, there's a loss, there's some type of disaster, Hashem Yachem. That's when you see who really loves Hashem, who really is close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who really is connected to Him. You're not going to find who's connected to Him through good times, because through good times it's easy. It's easy to sing, Mishema Amin Lo Mefached, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we love you, and all types of nice things, or, and you should say thank you, and you should say this, all these wonderful songs that people send each other on YouTube, you know, all day, oh, this song gave me real chizuk, what is it? It's saying thank you to Hashem. Yeah, now the other guy, if he's having a bad day, he says, you think, 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 this is what you send me, I'm having a bad day, you want to say thank you to Hashem? He wants to send the guy a curse back. He doesn't want to send him a thank you to Hashem back. But why is the other guy sending him a thank you to Hashem? Because he's having a good day. Send the song when you're having a bad day. Send the song when you declared bankruptcy. Send the song when you're going through bankruptcy. When everybody's calling you nonstop, asking for their money. Send the song when your kid got thrown out of school. That's when you should send that song. Why? Because that's the real test. The real test of whether you have bitachon and akadosh baruch Hu is during the difficulty. Not during the good times. And the prophet Job tells us this time and time again. Where when his wife... Before the test, she sounded and looked like a tzaddikah. But after all of the horrible things happened to Job, lost ten kids, lost all the money, lost all the kavod, 
lost anything and everything that was precious to them. His wife told them, why don't you just pray to your God to kill you and that's it. He tells her, you speak like a nevela. You speak like a despicable person. From there, by the way, you should know that Arizal says, we learn that Job was the Gilgul of Terach. Terach, the uh, father of Avraham Avinu. Because he also used the same word. But anyway, what does Job say to his wife? Hashem Natan, Hashem Lakach, Yishem Hashem Evorach. God gave, God took, may his name be blessed. What does it mean, God gave, God took, may his name be blessed? It's a nice coin phrase. Maybe we should make an ad out of it. But what does it actually mean in real life? He tells his wife, you despicable person. When everything was good, you didn't pray to Hashem to kill you. You prayed to Hashem to give you Ad Me'avayasim. You prayed to Hashem, happy birthday, may you live 120 years. When everything was good, you said, Ishtabach Shimo, it's such a great God, I love God, everything is good. I want to live, I want to this, I want to that. So what now? The same God takes his, takes his back. It's not yours, it's his. The money is his, the kids are his. The fame, everything is his. He takes it back. Now what? Now all of a sudden you don't want to live? So are you such a despicable person that you think you can give Hashem conditions of how you're going to serve Him? You're saying He's the King. Why? He gave you the house. He gave you the husband. He gave you the kids. He gave you the wife. He gave you the dog. He gave you the job. He gave you the breath in your lungs. He gave you the heart that works by itself. He gave you everything. And you're saying, because of that, I'm not serve Him. Because He's the King. No one that's not the King can give me so many things. So He's the King. I'm going to serve Him. So now you've identified, Baruch Atah Hashem. Blessed you Hashem. Why? King of the world. So you've identified every day, multiple times a day, that He is the King. And that's why I thank Him. So it's not like you don't think He's the King. You've identified and acknowledged He's the King day after day, all day. But now you're such a despicable person that you're telling the same king that you've identified and acknowledged that you're only going to serve him under your conditions when it's easy for you, when it's nice for you, when you feel like it, when you feel healthy and not in pain, when you have money and not money problems. You're only going to serve him with money, but not with lack of money. You're only going to serve him when you feel good and not feel bad. So he's the king, but you're giving conditions? That makes you despicable. Why? Because you're even lying to yourself. Thinking that you've ever acknowledged him as a real king to begin with. That's what Job said. You're thinking that you failed when the test came. No, you didn't fail when the test came. You were failing the whole time. Even when you said, Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam, you were a liar. You lied to him the whole time. Even when you said, Borei Pri Haaretz, you're just simply sanctifying Hashem's name for eating something from the ground eating something from the tree. Even then you were lying to him. Even then you didn't think he created it. Why? Because you have conditions in how you serve him. That's what makes you despicable, he says to her. Rabotai Karim, the goal of these bitachon shurim is to test ourselves and see ourselves in the story. Where do we stand? How is our tefillah when things are good? How is our tefillah when things are bad? How is our kavanah when we're in a hurry? How is our kavanah when we're not in a hurry? 